Hi, and welcome to the Second Avenue video do-it-yourself instructional video series. We'll be showing you how to do a video memoir in your own home. We'll be covering the following topics. How to choose the person you want to interview and what story they want to tell. The types of questions you want to ask and how to ask them. We'll show you how to send all the material to us so we can edit it into a final product, a digital memoir that will last for years to come. In this difficult time, we realize we can't come to your home to produce one of our Capturing Family History video memoirs, but here is the next best thing. We will take you step by step through the process of producing the materials that we need to edit this into a professional finished product. There are many reasons why people choose to make a video memoir. Making a record of their favorite moments. A mutual friend to Laura and I introduced us, uh, made the match. I came down um, for breakfast one morning and he was at the piano and he said, honey, I have something I want you to hear. He said, it's, it's called Mornings with Laura. There just aren't words for it. The birth of a child or, or a grandchild, moving to a new neighborhood or coming over from the old country. You may want to interview family members. Don't worry if they're not physically in your home at this time. We'll show you how to capture the interview over a video connection. We know that capturing a person's life history now, while they're still able to share, is so important. It could even be you telling your story. After you've finished filming, we'll show you how to digitally send your video to us, along with the photographs that you've collected. Our job will be to edit the footage, integrate the photos you sent us, and add some music. When we're done, we'll send you the final product, a video memoir to share with your family for years to come. And remember, we're always glad to answer questions, so email us at creative at secondavenuevideo.com.